Hello friends, welcome to Kiev Knowledge Center. My name is Devil Shah and today I will be your guide for this video. So today we are going to be learning the most important indicator that is RSI, Relative Strength Index. Many people will tell you that you should buy when it's crossing 30 or you should sell when it's crossing 70. But they never tell you the logic behind it. They never tell you how RSI works. But in this video, we're going to be understanding how RSI works. So let's not waste time and let's understand the formula and the logic behind it. So firstly, I, uh, I have used uh, ACC over here on five minutes interval. Let me add SI as an So basically RSI is a momentum indicator. Momentum indicator is tell you that what's the price movement, what's the price change, how much trend does it have. It will go a bullish trend or it will go a bearish trend. Similarly, it's an oscillator. It moves from 0 to 100 range. 0 means the bearish, very bearish, 100 means very bullish. So now let's understand the formula, right? RSI is equal to 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus RS. RS is their relative strength. Sounds complicated? It's not. The most important thing is RS, that is relative strength. The average gain divided by average loss. When the average gain increases, the RSI value increases. That is, you move towards 100, that's the bullish side. When average loss increases, your, it moves towards the bearish side, that is, it moves towards the zero. It's a bearish move. Now let's understand more in Excel. So that will be easy for you to understand. So I have a stock over here. It's basically preamble over here. Uh, I have taken at 9.15. Basically it's a five minutes interval only. Now, uh, before moving ahead, let me understand, uh, make you understand what's period over here. Period is uh, a time range for which we're going to be calculating our average period. So in market, people will tell you use 7, use 14, use 21. You can use any kind of period that all depends upon your strategy, what kind of strategy you are developing. So we'll have another video which we connected on specifically for the period which period should be considered for an indicator. But for now, let's back go back to our RSI. So we have considered 9, 9.15 five minutes interval. So for us, the 14 period would be over here. The count we counted and this is our 14 period. 14. So if, if we are considering uh, 14, to five, so 70 minutes basically you can say. That is uh, almost one hour and 10 minutes. Just for an explanation purpose. Uh, now let's go back. Uh, so first we'll calculate the return. Return is a change in the price. That is the, either it would be a gain or a loss. So the closing price of 9.15 was 1.4331. And for 9.20 it was 1.436.7. So we get a change of 3.7. Similarly, we get change, next change is 6.3. There was no change over here, 0 0.2. Similarly, we got a loss over here, 0 0.8. The second step over here is dividing into gains and loss. So similarly, we did a gain. These are the gains and we have the losses. Now the main part comes is of average gain and average loss for each period. And that's how we divide and get our RS. This is our relative strength. And then when we implement in the formula that 100 minus 100 plus divide, divided by 1 plus RS, this is where we get the RSI value. Now, understanding here is that as gain increases, the RSI value increased over here. Let's take another example over here. Is 
So you see, the losses are more over here and the, the gains are lesser. But if you see RSI values also, so yeah, RSI is something around 40 or 40 around, right? That's, it's going towards the bearish side because losses increase it, the average loss increase it, and that's why RSI is going towards the bearish. So now let's summarize the whole thing into a simple understanding that when your average gain increases, that's it's moving bullish, average gains are increasing over here. The RSI value will increase. When average loss increases, that is it's going towards the bearish side, we are moving towards the bearish side and it RSI value will go towards the zero. And that's why people generally say that when it's more, around 70 is an overbought area because market has bought so much things that they already keep on buying buying and buying they are has reached to an overbought area similarly when it goes below 30 market is selling so much that it is going to an oversold area so basically this is a logic behind rsi in next video we're going to be understanding how we can create a strategy out of it and how can we run a back test and optimize our strategy and we understand around that if you like this video please like subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon for thank you and have a nice day